And improving medical technology is making life easier for cancer patients and others, giving them control over a side effect of surgery. ABC 7 News reporter David Louie has a look at how it works. Former Marine Bucky Peterson loves to spend hours outdoors playing golf and hiking around his home in Sonoma. There's just plenty of trails, plenty of good vista to see the vineyards. But he suddenly faced uncomfortable challenges after undergoing surgery for prostate cancer. It was the need to go to the bathroom many times a day. He turned to his doctors at Marin General, who recommended an implantable device. It's a neat little device because it's so simple. The implant, made by Axonics, is an upgraded version of an existing technology. Employing a wire lead, it transmits a signal to nerves involved with bladder function, as seen in this animation provided by the company. Patients control the effect with a handheld device. But Dr. Robert Chan says older technology had a significant drawback. In the past, the batteries would last about, on average, about four and a half years, and then you'd have to go to the operating room. Dr. Chan says the new system employs an external charger, which keeps the implant functioning without repeated surgeries. It's like a cell phone. You can put up like a little charging pad, stick it underneath your, you know, stick it on your skin and it charges it up. He says the implant procedure takes roughly an hour and a half. For Bucky Peterson, the results have been liberating and effective enough for 18 holes of golf on the day we met him. Well, I, I shot a good round and I play with the great guys that are my, my wonderful friends uh, and uh, we had a ball. In Sonoma, David Louie, ABC 7 News. Doctors say the device is typically implanted in an outpatient surgery center, and most insurance, including Medicare, they do cover the procedure.